Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today it's time to talk about the playoffs in 2020 and my preseason playoff predictions, including the 2020 World Series champion. These are called predictions, not the Vegas odds. So, you know, I got so much hatred in the last couple of videos when I predicted the American League standings and the National League standings, but I did get a lot of great comments. I appreciate you guys. A lot of people saying, hey, great video, appreciate it, love the uh, the predictions and stuff. They gave me, y'all gave me your predictions and it was fantastic. But I also had some comments that said things like, you know, uh, f you, you sorry mother you don't know what the you're talking about. You obviously never watched baseball in your life, you stupid piece of but I really do appreciate all the great comments in those videos. And now I'm going to get into the World Series and the playoff predictions. And I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm going to get just as much hatred. So I'll bring it on. Let's go. And once again, I'm shaking things up. This is going to be wild. So let's get into it now, starting with the American League. We'll start with the wild card game in the American League. And it's the Yankees versus the Astros. Those are the two wild card teams in my predictions. I know most people have them winning their divisions, and they very well might, but I got them as wild card teams and taking on each other in an epic game. And a game that's going to be very close, and it's going to go to the end. And well, of course, all games go to the end. But it's going to be a fight to the end, and the New York Yankees I have coming out on top. And I'm sorry about that. Astros fans and world travelers, shout out to you. You're awesome. Astros are a very good team, but I got the New York Yankees winning that wild card game. And hopefully I'm wrong for y'all Astros fans' sakes, but I got the Yankees winning it. Moving on. Let's just jump back to the National League now and take care of their wild card game. So we'll kind of do it like that. Go back and forth and get toward closer to the World Series. And in the National League, I have the wild card game being between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Milwaukee Brewers. A lot of people gave me some hate about the Brewers. Look, the Brewers have been a team that have been making the playoffs every year. They have shown that they can do it. And they have Christian Yelich and they have a solid staff, um, you know, with Woodruff and, and Hauser. And I just thought that, you know, I had the Brewers making the wild card. I don't think that's too outside the box. But anyway, apparently it is because uh, some people said that was crazy. So, but the Brewers, I think the Diamondbacks was the more crazy pick to make the playoffs. So the Diamondbacks, Brewers in a game. And here's the craziest thing, though. It's a one game thing. Anything can happen in one game. And I got the Arizona Diamondbacks coming out on top in that wild card game. You know why? Because you know who's going to be pitching that game. Now, maybe it's a slightly biased pick here because, you know, I'm a freaking Giants fan, so I love Bum. But I got Mad Bum stepping it up in the wild card game a la 2014. And the Diamondbacks take out the Brewers. Jumping back over to the American League. Like I said, the Yankees win that wild card game. They're going to be taking on the Rays because the Rays are going to have the best record in the the American League, so they take on each other. Even though they're in the same division, I believe that the rules are now that you can take on each other as long as that team has the best record in baseball. They play the wild card team. So Rays versus Yankees. That's going to be exciting. Obviously, they have the Rays winning the division, but in this series, I have the Yankees coming out on top. So despite being the wild card team, despite the Rays winning the division, the Yankees get their revenge in this playoff series and the Yankees are the victors in that series. And they're going to move on. In the other series, White Sox versus the A's. Do I got the White Sox continuing on still? Like I said, they picked up a pitcher at the trade deadline. The White Sox are hot right now. They're one of those teams. I got doing really well. They are hot, and they will win this series against the A's in a hard-fought, long five-game series, which is the max, best of five. But the Chicago White Sox victory against the Oakland A's. They're going to move on to take on the Yankees in the American League Championship Series. Back to the National League. What's going on over there? Like I said, the Arizona Diamondbacks won that wild card game. They have to take on the Los Angeles Dodgers, who have the best record in baseball. The Dodgers are hot. They have an amazing team. There's no doubt about that. What's going to happen in this series? Well, I think that the Diamondbacks are going to do well, but unfortunately, they are not going to be able to take out the Dodgers in the division series. So I'm not going to take it that far, guys. The Dodgers do beat the Diamondbacks, who had an amazing season, a great run. The Diamondbacks, no one thought they'd get that far, but they could not take out the powerful Dodgers. The Dodgers will move on. And in the other series, it's the Mets and Reds. Yes, I had the Mets winning the division. That was a hunch. I just felt like something was going to get shaken up in that East because the teams are so close together. And I said, you know what? Mets in first, Phillies in second, Braves in third. That is an insane 
approach and people let me know about it and call me all kind of names because that's what you do on the internet if you disagree you gotta call them a effing piece of crap and that's just how the internet is and you know? i'm trying to I'm trying to learn okay i'm still new but in this series the Cincinnati Reds are going to take out the Mets in pretty quick fashion because their rotation is solid. They got a ton of offense. The Reds are going to make an improvement or two around that trade deadline. And the Cincinnati Reds are moving on. So now we got the Dodgers and Reds in the National League Championship Series. And we got the Yankees and White Sox in the American League Championship Series. But in the American League, do I got the White Sox still moving on? No, it's going to be a hard-fought seven-game series. The White Sox are going to get it, give it everything they can, but the wild-card team, the New York Yankees, so everyone who was mad at me that I didn't have the Yankees win the division, the Yankees are going to the World Series as the New York Yankees will beat the White Sox in a very um, exciting American League Championship Series. In my predictions... The White Sox fall to the Yankees. They had a great year. Again, a, a great story for the White Sox in 2020. And they're going to be primed to win it all in 2021, coming back with an even better team. But this is not going to be their year. The Yankees are going to win. And then the Dodgers and Reds. What's going to happen there? Is it going to be a Yankees-Dodgers World Series? Nope. The Reds. The Reds, the Cincinnati Reds, are taking out the Dodgers in a six-game series. Dave Roberts is getting fired. All due respect, love Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts is getting canned if this happens, as I'm saying. Um, he's going to make some strange decision, okay? And uh, the Dodgers are going to lose, and the Reds are going to move on to the World Series. So in my predictions, I got the Reds, and I got the Yankees in the Fall Classic 2020 Shortened season, crazy season, and all this, of course, if we even get to these games, let's keep that in mind. You know, I've told time and time again, uh, dude, there ain't going to be no World Series. There ain't going to be no playoffs. Um, yeah, they're not going to make it. Well, you know what? What do you want me to do? Not predict? Of course I'm going to predict. This is baseball. Let's go. And in a seven-game series, the Cincinnati Reds are going to win it, and they are going to take home the 2020 Major League Baseball World Series Championship Trophy. I got the Cincinnati Reds coming out of nowhere with an awesome rotation, with a ton of power, making a ton of improvements. All those signings are going to pay off. And the Reds are going to win it all in 2020. I got them as the world champions, Cincinnati Reds. And it is done. Put it in the books. And if they are, I will be replaying this clip. And if they don't win it all, I will be deleting this video. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to ever delete this video. These are my official predictions, and uh, I'm sticking with them. So we're going to see how it goes, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video as I walk you through my predictions in the playoffs. I know that they're not, you know, people told me, I've obviously never watched baseball, and I'm not a baseball fan. What? Actually, I have watched baseball. I am a baseball fan. That's why I know every year some team makes it far that no one thinks is going to make it far. I can tell you this. If I would have predicted the Washington Nationals to win the 2020, or excuse me, 2019 World Series, especially if I'd have picked them about a month into the season when they were like, I don't remember their record, but it was atrocious. Some people would have told me that I'm an absolute moron and I need to be uh, either that or I'm insane and I need to be institutionalized. That's what people would have said. So, guys, I'm not saying these predictions are going to pan out. Of course they're not. They're not all going to pan out that way. Nobody's going to predict it completely correct. But I'm just hoping to get some of these right. You know, I'm hoping that the Reds make it far. I'm hoping that the White Sox do make the playoffs. I'm hoping the Rays win their division. Just little things like that. If I can get those little things right, that would be a big victory for me. But obviously, you're not going to get them all right. They're predictions. It's just for fun. You guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, please let me know your predictions down below in the comment section. And let me know what you think. Have a great day. I'm going to talk to you later. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button for no more videos. A lot of stuff has happened over the last few days. I haven't had a chance to make any videos. Uh, we got Domingo Herman, like pretty much acting like he's retiring, which is nuts. And just so much other things, so many other things. The Blue Jays, where are they going to play? I'm going to make some more videos on these topics very soon. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye bye, baby. History's in the
the making at Oracle Park.